As per a select report from Axios, photographs have been gotten showing illicitly destroyed records in both a White House latrine and on Air Force One during Donald Trump's organization. In February of this current year, it was accounted for that White House staff members uncovered that the previous president was destroying archives and unloading them in White House latrines causing migraines and supported up plumbing. Around then, the New York Times detailed, while in office, the previous president cheerfully ridiculed the Presidential Records Act, which expected him to safeguard compassed correspondences concerning his authority obligations, and added that Trump regularly destroyed reports and subsequent to leaving office took significant compassed materials back to Mar-a-Lago. A Trump representative didn't answer a solicitation for input about the pipes matter. Trump poo-pooed the report at that point and attacked the Times' Maggie Haberman, and presently she has created photographs backing up the announcing. The disclosure by Haberman, whose inclusion as a New York Times White House reporter was followed fanatically by Trump, adds a distinctive new aspect to his breaches in protecting government records. Axios was given a restrictive first glance at a portion of her detailing, Axios is revealing while likewise creating two photographs that show paper pieces in the latrines that contain Trump's obvious composition with a sharpie. In one photograph, New York Republican Representative Elise Stefanik's name should be visible. Axios adds, Haberman, who got the photographs as of late, imparted them to us in front of the October 4 distribution of her book, Certainty Man, The Making of Donald Trump and the Breaking of America. The report adds that Haberman made sense of, Mr. Trump was disposing of archives this way was not well known inside the West Wing, but rather a few assistants knew about the propensity, which he participated in over and over. It was an augmentation of Trump's term-long propensity for tearing up archives that should be safeguarded under the Presidential Records Act. No, this tragically doesn't have anything to do with the legendary P-tape. Somewhat, back in February, Axios distributed a portion from New York Times senior political journalist Maggie Haberman's book, Confidence Man, that guaranteed while President Trump was in office, staff in the White House home occasionally found rolls of printed paper stopping up a latrine and accepted the president had flushed bits of paper. Trump denied the report, considering it a phony story. He likewise gave Haberman one of his quite smart epithets, Maggot Haberman. It's actually better compared to Biden's moniker for Trump. But on Monday, Axios distributed photographs of what seem, by all accounts, to be unlawfully destroyed archives in the can. One picture shows a cabinet in the White House, a source told Haberman, while the other is from an abroad outing. You can see both photographs here, in the event that you need to begin another week with, clean, thank God, latrine photographs. You do you. A representative for Trump told Axios, you must be frantic to sell books in the event that photos of paper in a latrine bowl is essential for your special arrangement, which isn't a refusal, precisely. Trump's fixation on latrines and water pressure unexpectedly checks out. Essentially every story you see on air is chosen by the higher-ups. The makers are totally given direction each day. Interestingly since he was president, a couple of breaks have started to show up. Fox is a business, not an ideological group. Trump doesn't take even the smallest analysis well. In the event that he sees something he could do without, he detonates, the source said. In any case, the source additionally guaranteed that Trump's response